So, what is the best healer in Genshin Impact? It, healing is a kind of thing that some people will neglect healers, some people will say healers are the best, but obviously as you get to the later game, you're going to need a healer to help you out. So in this video we're going to discuss every healer and which one is the best healer for you. So, if you do enjoy this video, you want to support my content, you can always subscribe. Only 2.8% of people who watch my videos are subscribed, which is pretty good for me anyways. So if you do want to help me out, feel free. So, we're going to discuss every healer in the game quickly, so I've made a couple parties. So you've got your main healers, so Barbara, Chi Chi, and imagine I have Jean. I don't have Jean, she's the she's a character I don't have, so uh, just imagine it, but we'll still go through her and we'll discuss her anyways. And then these are like the main healers that you can have. Then sub healers. So these are characters that can heal, but also obviously do a bit more damage and be used in different ways. Uh, then just as opposed to healing. So for example, like Chi Chi, her main purpose is to apply cryo and heal. And Barbara is just constant healer. Jean, a bit of a sub. She can like um, she can heal as well based off her attack, but she's still a healer at the end of the day. But how like characters like Noel, Jing Cho, Diana, and Bennett, they all heal. They can all do a bit of healing, but then their main purpose isn't to heal. So we're going to discuss the idea of them as well. So first off, we're going to discuss Barbara. I have a. I used to be a Barbara main, so. She obviously builds her healing off of HP, so you want to build HP catalysts on her, so either Throwing Tales of Dragon Slayers, which is great as a support because you can um, pass on damage to your main DPS, or you can use Prototype Amber. Prototype Amber is also another healing catalyst that you could use. So Barbara is a really good support. She can heal for quite a lot, and her burst... It's basically free healing. She can sustain herself in a way because what you can do is you can you can proc this, and of course the uh, the field will constantly heal you even if you switch out. However, like her normal attacks will also heal. You might not do you don't do much damage as Barbara, but she can heal herself. And it, another thing to note is with the other characters in your party, unlike every other healer here, you don't have to switch out to heal them. Like for example. Chi Chi has her orb, but you have to switch out to let's say Barbara to like get the healing from it, which if your character is low, for example, you could get hit before the healing comes through. However, Barbara, she can heal outside of like having to switch. So Chi Chi, Chi Chi is a great healer. Like she, she can apply her normal attacks. Her normal attacks can apply a talisman at level 60 onwards. Her Q also does, um, also puts a talisman on them, and her she comes out an orb to do healing. Now, she builds her healing off of her attack. So, the difference here is, and this is this same thing applies to Jean as well. So, we're going to talk about Chi Chi and Jean in the same kind of section. They build off of attack and they're one handed sword. So, you want to get a high base attack weapon, you want to go for attack artifacts instead, and then you want to just spam heal. So, Obviously, which healer is the best out of the three? Well, it depends. Free to play option, it, you're not going to have Chi Chi or Jean really. Let's be honest, unless you pulled them, you're not really going to have them. Whereas well, you got a Barbara for free, right? You can use Barbara. Barbara is a great healer choice for any free to play option for healing. However, obviously, the next set of healers, it depends on your playstyle. Now, obviously, as, as, main, as your main healer, I wouldn't, re you know, they aren't the best healers, but you do need two healers for Spiral, Spiral of Bliss, so yeah, that's true. So Noelle, underrated character. I was going to make a build guide on her, but I don't understand Noelle too much to, you know, give you some perfect facts, so I'm holding off for the minute while I do some more research. So Noelle gets her healing from her E, which is Breastplate, which is basically she summons a shield and she gets healing based off of her defense and it's got a 51% chance to work. However, if you've got Constellation 1, the chances increase to 100% if you're using her burst. So, the way it works is you can, you can do that, which puts down a shield. The shield already protects you from damage and then, like um, Barbara, just, just attacking can heal everyone in your party, which is really good. She's underrated, really, I, mean, I think. However, I don't think she is your best main healer, obviously. Like, she isn't going to heal 
unless you get like some stupidly high defense values. She isn't going to be healing too much already because I've only got her at level 2. But however, 22.9% of my defense at level 2, that's like a good couple hundred healing. So yeah, your next character is Jing Cho. Now, when you, um, what happens is, uh, you kind of just like, y you do this, and it summons some rain swords, and then these rain swords um, protect you from damage. However, if you don't, like, get hit by the rain swords, you get healed. I wouldn't recommend this as your route of healing, obviously, because you don't need, you, you need to not get hit. The problem with that is, uh, in things like Spiral Abyss, you will probably end up getting hit a lot, so therefore the healing from this isn't that great. So, yeah, Jing Cho, not the best healer, but if you do, like, if you use him a lot of support, he can be a healer, just, you know, there's better options, obviously. Diona? Now, Diona works in the way that she's an archer, and she, her healing bases off of HP, so something like the recurve bow is a free-to-play option. For HP, that's fine. And she can give you a shield, which is based off of HP, but her burst, um, it is basically, it summons a regeneration field. And if in that AoE, yeah, you can get some bonus HP regen. So, the only difference with this is you need to have a burst up all the time, and her burst, um, it has a cooldown of 80, which is one of the longest in the game, so... Like, whilst she can heal, it's going to be quite long. But obviously you can fix that with energy recharge. That's fine. And then lastly, everyone's favourite. We love Bennett. Everyone loves Bennett. He's cool. He he can uh basically the way he gets his healing is from Fantastic Voyage. So you can gain HP if you stand within his field. Most people will know this already. So he it scales off of HP. But you you can also give um attack as well. Obviously he's got a cooldown of 60, which means he can get it up quite quickly. He can spam this, however the thing is, is that his burst isn't forever. Unless you have some really high energy recharge, it doesn't last forever. So, the only problem with Bennett is, you know, it's not constant healing. Like, if you're in a pinch, you also do need to switch out as well, so... Bennett can be reliable. So, who are the best healers in Genshin Impact? Well, we're already going to start ranking this. So, from a standpoint, um, Chi Chi one of the best. Barbara, one of the best. So is Jean. So the main healers I'm going to put as the top three. And then in fourth place, Bennett. Fifth, like Diona and the well, they're still good. And then last place, Jing Cho, because Jing Cho, you know, he's more of a support character. You know, he does his water thing, he does his rain swords. He's not meant to heal for that much. But the healing's still there. So what are your thoughts? Who is your healer? And why do you like them? So, I want to find out what everyone's healers is. So, I want, because I'm interested. Like, I want to find out this kind of stuff because I can then make some more videos and guides based off of what everyone's playing. So, if you do enjoy it, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. So, please, take care.